Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Well today we are gonna talk about one series again but we are actually going to make a video where I talk about how to create this car or you know a look that very much resembles this car as close as possible for as less money as possible. Because if you may or may not know I spend it a stupid amount of money into this car like really a lot uh, this car has costed me in modifications only easily if i think correctly 12 13 thousand euro which is just a stupid amount of money for 114i uh and i get it a lot of people don't want to you know spend that much money on one series or on their car and they're like okay i am not going to spend that amount of money for this look and the good part is you don't have to so now in this video i'm going to explain how exactly you will create a look which is very close to mine not quite as mine but very close to mine and you won't need to spend that amount amount of money i actually you know um calculated so i put everything on my phone and i calculated that you can recreate a look which is very close to mine for around four to five thousand euro and like i said my build has a lot of details and details cost a lot of money and we are actually dropping a lot of those details on this build because for some people they don't really matter so how did i do this well very simple we have actually three categories for this car exterior interior and performance and we all took main components out of each uh you know part of the build and i actually also have three options for all these modifications some modifications you just gotta do uh, there's no way around them you just have to pay full price the others are actually, you know, not necessary, so you don't have to do them. So I'll just keep them away. And then some other modifications uh, have a cheaper version of them. So that's what we are going to discuss. So how you can create a car that very closely resembles mine. So we are going to start with the exterior. One of the most important things to create a good looking one series in my opinion it doesn't have to be yours but in my opinion your one series needs to have an amp package that's just you no know, my opinion but with an amp pack the f20 certainly the f20 certainly the pre-facelift looks a million times better with the amp pack and that's you know that's just my opinion you can actually you know love the uh non amp package more that's totally fine but for me you definitely need an amp pack and if you bought a car without an amp pack then you think well that's going to be a very expensive job but actually it's not as expensive as you might think because very simply that's a nice part about it bimmer products has a complete package so rear bumper side skirt and front bumper for 700 euro so for 700 euro you can have all the bumpers and side skirts of course they are not yet painted and not yet mounted on the car but at least you have a very important part what you also gotta do is of course get them painted and fitted and if you get them all together and get them all painted at the same time you can actually save a little bit of money because it's cheaper to paint more parts than at the, at the same time than just one part one at a time so i reckon it really depends on where you go because a lot of paint jobs have a lot of different you know prices but i reckon that you can get you know the full amp package ordered at beamer products and then also have it painted and mounted by a paint job in total together for around 1500 1600 euro so that should be possible and you know don't go to the cheapest you know paint job just go to a good one 
which works for a fair price because a bad paint job is just not all nice to look at so yeah um, for around thousand five six hundred euro you can get your non m1 series and m package which in my opinion is really you know it's really worth it and it's really a necessary modification if you ask me then the next thing that you definitely need to do on your car is wheels um i don't know what wheels you get your car you can get like you know 16 inch alloys which aren't even real alloys but just you know with a plastic cover on them sorry they look like absolutely trash uh, I used to have those as winter set on my previous car. I actually never ran them because they look that bad. Uh, so sorry if you have those, you need to get rid of them. You're not going to create a good look with those wheels. Uh, but you know, wheels and tires are expensive if you want to buy them new. And like me, I actually found an amazing deal on these Japan racing wheels. I bought them second hand from, some, from someone for only 300 euro which is very cheap and it's you know a very rare find you know it's one of my best deals in my whole freaking life um but i i would say that if you were looking you know if you look at second hand market sites and a little bit around on facebook market you can get a very cool set of wheels with decent hires for around five to six hundred euro so that's really you know something that you will have to look after you will need to have a little bit of luck with that you can always buy them new but then you'll pay a lot more so i would say try to find you know some second hand wheels and tires i also work with second hand parts it just cuts the cost a lot but it's really something that helps to uh you know you know tone down the budget and you can you know if, even if they have a little bit of you know curb damage it doesn't really bother that much because most of the times when you get new wheels you will do it yourself anyway and then just pay a lot of money just to curb it away uh, so yeah that's really you know a nice set of wheels on the second hand market side uh, then also what i really get for the rear is this spoiler um you know some people like it some people don't but i really think that you know this spoiler or you can get another spoiler there are different styles on these but i just think that a spoiler on the one series really you know makes the rear look so much more aggressive like the previous one series they actually had a longer boot as an option this one doesn't and the m performance option that you have on this car in my opinion just doesn't look that great uh, but now here as you can see you, you just have like a little bit of a longer lip and it just in my opinion looks so much better than without it and i also had a dull spot in the paint underneath so that was a win-win <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, the spoiler is just something that i would really really get you know a one series with or without one is a day and night difference also you know when you get the spoiler you really need to get another thing on the car which is a front lip so this is really my favorite front lip for the pre-lci f20 with an m package because it really you know the, the black you know on on the bumper it really makes the car look so much more aggressive it's just my favorite front lip you can get other front lips uh, you, you can and you don't have to get this one but this is just my favorite and it's also very very easy to install because it uses the original bumper holes and you only need to drill over here in your bumper so you only need to drill two holes uh, while my maxon design actually you needed to, to really drill a lot of holes which are still visible now because i had to replace the maxon with another uh with another one and that's when i decided to go with this one uh but yeah the front lip and the spoiler really really are worth it um i didn't you know the, the rear the maxons on the rear and on the side they are not necessary in my opinion i mean the, yeah they look cool but these actually are the details that i'm talking about so like i said before 
you know the details cost a lot of money well this is one of those details that i'm going to skip on this budget build okay then another thing that really you need to do for ha to have a clean look is a window tint some one series come with them originally and then it's not really like that necessary but you know if you don't have a window tint i would definitely get one it really you know sets the cool black tone and it gives you a little bit of privacy because you just clearly you can just can't look into the interior i just see myself i mean you can see a little bit now really not that much so privacy wise it really works a lot i mean here i have my windows open i know uh, but if you want to have some fun in the rear <coughs> uh, then you know window tint is a very good thing uh, but yeah it really works and it also keeps the heat out um, but also budget wise you will you know you can find a good window tinter for a very decent price it's just you need to know who and that's always you know we have expensive people and cheap people and then you have good and bad people and an expensive one ain't always a good one and a cheap one ain't always a bad one so that's really something that you will need to find out try to find one some locally guy um who has you know a lot of good feedback so try to find someone and you should you know find someone between 150 and 200 euro but really like window tint i was never really like that fan of them but then i got one and then i got why everyone does it on their cars so yeah a window tint is a good thing uh then the rear lights so the rear lights you actually have or you had three options i have original oem black lights problem is there are two problems they're pretty expensive and they're discontinued so you will you will need to find them somewhere online maybe brand new and they're also 300 euro um but there are actually two options that you can do you can try to find um, you know second hand or you can get wraps replicas they are cheaper but not the same quality or you can just tint your original rear lights to a similar tone as this one so i have people seen doing it and actually looks fairly decent i mean it's it's a lot cheaper problem is here in belgium it's actually illegal to tint your real lights so that's why i went this way so i can just keep this on and you know the yearly inspection can't do a single thing because this is like i said original um but yeah uh you know this is really not a tint you can see clearly that this is the original you know uh factory glass that is that uh dark but you can create this look with a foil or some spray and if you can try it yourself if you fuck it up that's your problem uh or you can get it get someone to do it for you and i think they would charge around 50 euro for the two lights i mean if they charge more then they're rather expensive but it's the same with the real lights try to find someone who is fairly good at this job so yeah the rear darker real lights like i said you have a couple of options on these but you know i went the most expensive way and i just told you the most cheapest way so yeah um also another thing is the front lights so as you know you know i got the depot angel lights these are not original bmw headlights and yeah i think they look cool but they are expensive and a lot of work to install you need to remove the front headlights and like i said they are like more than 500 euro and then if you can install them yourself like i did then you're lucky you definitely need someone but if you you know need to pay someone then they all are easily six seven hundred euro uh headlights but yeah there is a cheaper option which in my opinion doesn't look that good but it's an option so instead of replacing these headlights with these uh angel eyes you can actually just put h7 lids in your high and low beams and replace your uh, daytime running lights with LEDs. I think the the high beam and the low beam are H7, but the 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 day, running daylights and parking lights. I definitely have no clue, but you can find that on the internet. You know, if you use Google, then you will find it. Um, but you know, it won't create the same cool angel eye look, but it will create a better look 
than the stock halogen headlights. So that's something that you can do, um, or you can just you know try it and then you know don't like it, just get these. But you know you only have two options: put LEDs in your stock headlights or get these, or even go more expensive and go for the full OEM xenon headlights. But then you're paying like a really stupid amount of money uh, like two three thousand euro because they are expensive and then you also need to replace some units here and there so yeah um i went with these they i think money wise these are really the best for what you can get so yeah um but you know if you don't want to spend 500 euro on headlights um putting leds in the original ones is a good alternative then also this is like a little merch vlog for me <laughs> um but the kidney grills so original kidney grills are, are expensive through bmw but you can get these through me um like these single spokes are only 40 euro you also can get the blinkers and the mirror caps with which i got here for uh these are 50 these are 60 you can also get them in carbon fiber look uh so you can get these through me and like I said, you know, if you want them somewhere else, they are more expensive. But here, I sell them rather cheaply. I don't make a lot of money on them because I actually want you guys to have these for a good price and have good quality. So that's why I went for these. Uh, so you can get the blinkers, uh, the blinkers, like I said, the mirror caps and the grills through me. And uh, you can get a very cheap, good price on them. So exterior wise, we're almost ready. Um, we're first going to go to the rear because there I'm also giving you two op options exhaust wise. Um, so really I went for the 1M35i look, but that is rather more expensive because of two reasons. The M package look uh, bumpers that I said that you need to get from Bimmer products will give you a diffuser for one exhaust so if you want the muffler delete you can get you know a custom welded one and just have a single exhaust tip great nothing wrong with it but one thing if you want a double exhaust you will pay a lot more because of two reasons reason one you will need to get a, you will need to get a 1m35i diffuser which is around 120 euro at Bimmer products. And a double-sided exhaust is more expensive. So I actually paid for the double-mounted exhaust with the M performance tips, 590 euro, and uh, uh, what, the 135i diffuser was another 120, which will set a muffler delete with a double exhaust at around 700 euro. But if you only get the single spoke one, then you don't need to get a one, another 135 high look diffuser and a custom rear one with one exhaust tip will only cost you around 400 euro. So then we really, you know, 400 or 700 euro is difference. So it's just your opinion. If you really want to spend more cash on the 135 high look, I would say go for it, it's really worth it. If you're like, I'm fine with one exhaust, I don't want to have like a, you know, one on 35 high look when I don't have one, also fine. Get one exhaust tip, it will also look great. So that's, you know, that's one of those things that you will consider, what do I get? If you, if you want more, you will pay more. So that's really uh, also an option that I give you that you can do, or you can get an original bag box from like, um remus or bastock and they will also give you those two options but like i said you will also need another diffuser uh but yeah on the exterior we're actually mostly done i would also say get like this part uh, the um, carbon my right part uh it's only like how much was it again i think 20 euro so really i mean with shipping really not that expensive and it deletes the chrome so it's really you know it's cool it's uh, it's worth it in my opinion at least now we're going with the next um setup so we went with all the um, 
uh, looks so recreate the look on this car but we still have the performance and the interior to go so that's what I'm going to do now performance wise I have a lot less modifications for you because there is just a lot less to do for a certain budget I mean really performance modifications just cost a lot of money and there is really not that much you can do for not a lot of cash but there are a few things that you can do and uh, I will talk with you right now uh, so if I have this engine cold air intake which is 450 euro that is not cheap that's really not cheap and you know it really makes like a big whoosh sound and it's your opinion do you like it or not for me I'm not 100% certain if I would get it again because I sometimes think the, the the cold air intake sound is a little bit too much on this car and my friends start to call my car a uh, Datsun no, no not what I was saying um, a vacuum cleaner but I forgot the brand uh, <laughs> but they are so start you know calling my car a vacuum cleaner because the induction noise which is really overwhelming on this one but yeah it is what it is but i have a cheaper alternative for you instead of getting this one or use your original uh in air intake box and get a canon inlay filter for around 50 euro they say they will improve performance some really do because i've seen videos where you they really gain like two or three horsepower and they will also give you a little bit more induction noise they're really not like wow or Whoa, this is the greatest mod of your whole freaking life but they do help and they're easily you know installed and if you don't want them you they're easily removed if i want to remove this one i will need to get my original airbox back but i actually kind of broke that one while removing it for installing this one so i'm really stuck to this one or i really need to spend money to remove an expensive modification and i'm just not into that also what i would really say get it because it's not that expensive is this strut brace from uh, weichers it was only like 120 euro and it really you know stiffens up the front and you know it, it really helps cornering in your car so i would say handling wise because it's not that expensive just get it i mean 120 euro also available at bimmer products uh, so yeah i would say just get it because it helps handling okay so the last two modifications that i would say getting is um oh no three actually i'm sorry <laughs> i kind of forgot that one um is handling and braking wise so if you can see on my car i'm certain of you if you can see that well on my car but i got eibach coilovers and uh no uh bill sign coilovers and eibach springs and very simply you don't need the coilovers if you're on a budget just get the springs with the original coilovers and you'll be fine uh and the springs are like 200 euro and then getting them installed are like another 200 euro to so really for like 400 euro you can have your car lowered and handle a lot better really you know they can handle so much better um so that's really what i would say getting because it will also create a much more aggressive look if you combine it with the amp package and a cool set of rims so yeah um i would say get the uh eibach um sport line springs if you don't want it to be that low you can also get pro lines if you want it to be lower you can also get like uh hush and r springs they are even lower so you can really choose what you want to um i have the sport lines i had the pros i just thought they were too high and that's what i went with the sports and i think they are just great i mean i wouldn't mind it if the car set like even a little bit lower on the rear but i'm fine now i'm not going to change it anymore so yeah uh don't need the coilovers you just you know are fine with the springs yet yeah, with the coilovers it's you know a better ride in general 
but it's not necessary okay so my previous e87 only had the springs and it still drove fine it was a little bit more bumpy and you know those coilovers weren't made for those springs and you could feel that but i would still say uh get you know only the coilovers uh, only the springs i mean if you're on a budget then brake wise uh if you can even see that you know i have had the discs to be honest i'm not 100 percent certain if they're awarded because i know someone else who got these and they are already cracked after four months and my car i have a slight feeling that they are getting warped uh not 100 sure jesus what a terrible sound was that uh but yeah i would say they are getting warped not 100 certain because some people say it's because of the ceramic you know brake pads but i would say if you want to improve braking cheaply just get the ceramic brake pads uh from ebc they really they work a lot better uh brake fade wise and brake stopping wise but yeah i would say just get the brake pads i think you can get these for around 250 300 euro installed it depends where you order them uh, but they really help improve braking for not a lot of money so yeah performance wise we went with almost everything except one thing and that is the engine tune and i would say you know the engine tune I like to pay a little bit more money to get to a, you know, a famous tuner which is known to do good stuff. There are cheaper tuners, the problem is they're not all that great. Uh, some cheaper tuners get less out of your engine and some cheaper tunes, tuners get the same out of your engine but they just don't map it that well and your engine will be toast. So I would say the same with the, uh, you know, with the window tinter, go to someone who has good feedback i mean i'm not going to say that all cheap tuners are bad tuners but i would say try to find someone who you feel comfy with tuning your car and if you know someone who got their car tuned at them and you know they drive well then i would say go there uh, i went with a more expensive option because i actually had a negative feeling with you know a previous guy who tuned my older e87 which i had the feeling actually never went faster uh, after the tuning so that's really why i am not that keen on going to like a cheaper tuner and also you know those cheaper tuners on this car they only tend to get like 200 210 horsepower and then they say it's a more safely tuned which i am really not you know thinking that's true because i just think they map the car not that well um but i would say just go to i'd rather pay a little bit more to go to a decent tuner than just go to the cheapest option and get your engine blown up but that's just my opinion you know okay so now we are going to focus on the interior and for the interior i have four parts which freshen up the interior a little bit um first of all i'm not going to talk about an m sport switch because switching a whole, whole interior is more expensive um but i'm talking about just one thing which is expensive which is just gotta do it and that's a steering wheel because the pre facelift steering wheels are just hideous i hate them they look terrible they are just bleh, they're just puke on a steering wheel i don't like them the pre facelifts are garbage and the facelifts are gorgeous so if you have a pre facelift or you have like a, a facelift but no m steering wheel get it i mean get it get it get it you know the ones without any buttons and it's just plastic oh they're so terrible i mean they feel like a dacia duster steering wheel even not worthy of that they are just so freaking ugly i just have to puke when i think about them they're just so terrible so yeah get a facelift steering wheel i mean they're they're not cheap i get it but it's worth it it's definitely worth it it freshens up your interior and second hand you can find these for around four five hundred euro i just say you know try to not get a stolen one because they get stolen sometimes i'm lucky mine isn't stolen yet um but yeah i would definitely get a facelift m sport steering wheel then on the gear shifter you actually you know you can also go second hand 
thing is, you know, this one is actually the most expensive version. It's like Alcantara carbon fiber, but this one you don't see it's used. I mean, a brand new one or new, or this one, you actually barely see any difference because they don't wear it because the Alcantara is feather very hard. The carbon fiber, it just doesn't wear it if you don't have any rings at least. And I mean, it shifts very nice, but brand new, this one was around 190 euro. And I can see that people don't want to spend that much on a gear shifter. So what I would say is try to find this one or the M Sport one second hand and you can find these between 80 and 100 euro and they will look you know they will just look a lot nicer and you know the the M Sport one feels better than this one in the hand it's more comfy but this one is just you know it's great it's there's really no problem you will get used to it it's it's sure so you can drive more sportive with it um, but you can try to find it second hand or new um but yeah, you, you, you'll have to look a little bit for yourself on the second-hand market side. Then the red start stop button, you can buy them through me for only 15 euro. And they're great quality. I mean, this lights up in the dark, so it's not just a cover. And also, um, they don't wear off. I mean, I have this one, this one for a few months by now and still nothing is coming off i have seen original start stop buttons from bmw which started to wear rather quickly these just don't which is a great thing then the last thing that i would get is these you know these covers um i would get them wrapped these are really original ones and new they're rather expensive they're like 900 euro i got these second hand because this one wasn't included so i would say um get these uh just keep your original parts and get these wrapped because a good wrapper will do all of these for around 100 and 150 euro this one a friend of mine did for free actually he is a rapper he did a great job i provided him the tint but it was it was cheap bad tint it was way too you no know, the foil was way too thick it was just cheap from um action <laughs> and you can see here it's coming loose a little bit but fairly he did a great job it just had bad materials to work with but it, you can choose any you know tint that you want i went for the carbon fiber one and actually to be honest it looks fairly fairly decent if you ask me i mean yeah you can see it here but i'm gonna get this professionally done later on but for now i mean it's great i mean even the carbon fiber the original ones have these little smudges in them so yeah it is what it is i mean here is even worse it's a daily driver you know okay so uh that's mostly it so you know in this budget build i mean you're still four or five k out of your own pocket you know if you want to have the car like i just told you um but on that build you know you can keep like a certain budget over like a period of two three years and then it's obtainable for more people. I mean, I have spent like 13,000 euro in 18 months on this car, which is a stupid amount of money, I know. Uh, but it's just what I did. And I know for more, most people, they don't want to do it or they think it's, you know, just not worth it, which I get for some people or they just can't afford it. So that's why I say, you know, the budget built so if you do the budget build on like a period of two years, you will need to spend each month around 200 euro on the car for the build. So if you want to have your car looking within two years like this, I would say, you know, choose what modifications that you want to do first and then just save like 200 euro each month. And then when once you can pay the certain modification, then you can, you know, uh, do that modification and then go on and go on and go on. I would say just go with the M package first and then you will certainly enjoy that more. Uh, also, when you, you know, the M package, you will need to save up for that for seven, eight months. Um, if then, you know your first bumpers they can have a little bit of damage like stone chips or someone you know hitting them and then you can get it fixed without actually paying having 
have to pay more money because you get the M Sport bumpers. Um, and then, you know, other modifications are just, you know, um, coming along. Uh, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter if you do nothing to your car for like six months. It really doesn't matter if you're saving up for a bigger modification, then just, you know, do that. I mean, I also sometimes do nothing to my car for a certain amount of weeks of months because I can't afford the, the modification that I want to do. Uh, but yeah, on this one, uh, like I said, it got rather quickly out of control. <laughs> I was actually never planning of spending this amount of money on the car, but, you know, I just went on and on and on and... Yeah, now we're on this point and I'm like, you know, screw it. If I spent like 13,000 euro or 16,000 euro on this car, it doesn't even matter anymore. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.